hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i will show you how to resolve this issue no boot device found press any key to reboot the machine okay if you are facing this issue this video is for you i will show you how you can resolve this issue easily if i press any key on my keyboard let's wait whether it will boot or not okay you can see here no boot device found press any key to reboot the machine the same error i am getting so how i can resolve this issue and how to troubleshoot this issue let's start so first you need to make sure that you have knowledge about the boot key or the bios key on your system okay in dell laptop it will be f2 okay f12 and in hp laptop it will be escape key and f10 key okay and other laptop you can what is my boot key or what is my bios key so first i need to go into bios in order to fix this issue so press control alt delete or forcefully shut down it okay here i'm going to forcefully shut down it press the power key for almost 10 seconds or 15 seconds okay make sure you shut it down properly now it is shut down now and i'm going to again uh, press the power key and continuously press f2 in h in dell laptop uh, the bios key is f2 so i'm going to press it and i'm going to power on my system and then continuously press f2 like this okay preparing to set up let me let me insert the mouse okay now the first option you will see general option here okay so expand this option okay then look for boot sequence okay look for boot sequence here this is the boot sequence and make sure uh, if you have legacy boot make sure the first one is selected internal hdd and not like this if I click on up, this will be the priority. Make sure internal is first, okay? Internal HDD. Then second is this one, this select drive, and third one is USB drive, okay? So after clicking on this option, make sure the you are choosing the same one, internal HDD and uh, disable drive, okay? Then click on apply option here apply and then click on exit let's wait our system is boot or not okay still getting the same error you can see so i need to press ctrl alt delete button and again go to bios continuously hit the f2 key in dell laptop okay again go to same option boot sequence okay and this time we will change this legacy to uefi okay change this to uefi option and uh, windows bootload manager is make sure is available here okay click on apply option and after that go to advanced boot options and we need to configure this okay go to system configuration then go to SATA operation and make sure AHCI is selected here like it it is disabled so you need to make sure it it's enable okay like this then click on apply again okay AHCI should be enable here okay now now finish then click on exit and let's wait this time it should be loading since we have changed the BIOS mode to UEFI it was legacy first let's wait
now you can see the window is spinning it means that window is loading now you can see window has loaded and issue has been resolved so hope your issue is also resolved if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching